Hello everybody and welcome to a special Thanksgiving holiday weekend upload. We're going to take a break from the normal beach walks and shell collecting and I want to do a muriatic acid dip cleaning round two. I have done one of these before but I want to take the time to do it again. I've collected a lot of shells um, since the last time. This was about a year ago I think I uploaded the last one. Additionally, I have so many shells that I could put through the muriatic acid process that, um, you know, I just wanted to, to select a few more to show you what that particular process can do for your shells. So, what we're going to do today is start, um, I have a bottle of muriatic acid here. This can be picked up at any home goods store for probably around $10. I think this is how much mine cost me. We always want to exercise safety and so I have a pair of gloves here so that none of that acid touches um, my skin. We have a pair of tongs here that we'll be using to pick up the shells to dip them into the acid and, and then into the water. I know that there are many ways to clean your shells. I think most commonly people use um, bleach water bath, which I've done on many of my shells. That can help to remove a lot of the gunk uh, from shells like algae and um, specific types of, um, you know, crud that may be on the shells from, you know, months or years of sitting in a rack line or under water. Um, so this is by no means the only way to clean your shells. As a matter of fact, muriatic acid isn't really a way to clean your shells. It's just a way to, to bring more life um, and bring more color uh, and, and, um, and such to the shells that you have. Um, it's going to help some of your shells look a lot brighter and more colorful than they were before. Muriatic acid can also help to remove some of that calcium scum uh, that exists uh, on shells that have been sitting on a, on a beach for a very long time. Um, so, you know, it, it can help. I will also say with a caveat that muriatic acid should never be used on shells that have a natural glossy finish. Some of these shells are like olives or cowries. Um, normally these shells are glossy because the animal, when alive, extends around the outside of the shell, which creates that glossy finish. If you put a glossy shell through the muriatic process, it will strip um, that glossy finish right off your, of your shell. So don't use muriatic acid on any types of, of glossy shells. Um, I also have here a uh, two, two buckets that we're gonna be using one bucket is one part muriatic acid, two parts water. The other bucket is going to be 100% water. Um, we'll dip the shells into the one part muriatic acid, two parts water bucket to allow the process to start. And then I'll remove the shell and put it into the 100% um, water container to stop the acid process. Um, and then you'll see the great effects that the acid can have on the shells uh, itself and you'll see the, the process. So again, this isn't for everybody. If you have a collection of shells at home um, and you love the way that they look naturally from the beach, that's, that's great. Um, some things do look better natural. This is just for anybody who wants to um, see if they can bring some color back into some of the old shells that they have in their collection. Or if you found a particularly nice shell on the beach that was kind of cruddy or had some calcium salt uh, deposits on it and you want to see if you can bring a little bit more life into it. So with that said, let's go.